Blank stare. Today. They're off the brand. They're off the brand. Yeah, they like what's going on. They love you guys doing any more travel videos? Are you just doing some stuff in our house? Now the election, we're doing um, hanging out. We, we are traveling. Lake Eola. Mm -hmm. Lake Eola, Florida. Florida. Yeah. Florida. Yeah. We're hanging out with Jeff. Hanging out with me. Yeah. Doesn't get any better than that. We're traveling with Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> He's an old guy, has dementia, can't lead us, and the country is screwed. Tell some big lies, barely speaks English, sniffs children, and their mom's hair too. Goes the wrong way when he leaves his speeches. Gets lost each day in the White House yard. All the Dems say that we should re-elect him. How can he run when walking is hard? DJ Wonder Chrissy here with you with some more. You know what we do here. We have breaking news. Oh, yeah. Breaking news. Yep, that's what we got there for you today. It is Sunday, April 7th, and I am DJ Wonder Chrissy. This is Migrant Mayhem, and... Um, I was talking yesterday about how uh, the city of Chicago, state of Illinois, lies to people, right? How they lie. Ring the bell on that one. Um, so people were asking for some some from some receipts that uh, proof that I was uh, not lying to you. So um, here's a video uh, just came out about uh, a day ago. News Nation, pretty good reputable source of news uh, for you folks that uh, watch too much of that mainstream crap. But anyway, um, he talks about how uh, measles and um, now TB, but he talks about measles uh, been happening in the police stations since August of last year and was covered up by Brandon, our buddy Brandon in Chicago. So, um, Go figure. So let's listen in on him and what he says about how we've been being lied to for a while now. Lopez is joining us live to continue this conversation. Alderman, thanks so much for making the time. Thank you, Natasha. I wanted to follow up on something you told me. You are raising the alarm. You are concerned that Chicago police officers are contracting measles. Can you tell us any specifics about this and what is the worry for you here? No, we had said early on that we had 2,000 migrant asylum seekers living in our police stations that, that some of the infectious diseases that they had were actually being shared with our police officers so we know that our officers were coming in contact and developing measles and mumps and some other things and as we're moving forward with what we're going through now you know my concern is that you know our our first responders are going to deal with tuberculosis next measles continuing to be an issue as we continue to see 39,000 individuals now in our city who have not been back. So if you live in the city of Chicago and you take public transportation or you live close to any of these 23, soon to be 24, they just, just announced that uh, they're opening up a Catholic grade school that was closed and um, I think it's on the northwest side. But anyway... Um, if you live close to one of these shelters or you take public transportation or you're walking around by these uh, illegals, Biden buddies, uh, border buddies, newcomers, whatever you want to call these people, you are opening yourself up to uh, measles, mumps, and TB. 
according to our friend here, uh, Alderman Raymond Lopez. Vaccinated, who are not being held to the American standard and who are... Gee, think about that. Uh, different standards for different people. Seems to be a common theme that we're seeing around the nation, folks. Different standards for different people. It depends on who you are. Not only living in substandard situations as you saw yourself, but also putting our children in harm's way as well in the public school system. And I want to talk about the schooling issue in just a moment, but just to follow up there. So you say that there were cases of both measles and mumps contracted by police officers uh, here in yes. Chicago. And we have been aware of that fact since August of last year. And I'm a little bit upset that uh, Raymond Lopez, who seems to be a straight shooter, didn't come out last August or September and mention that to anybody, any news outlets. It was He was part of the cover-up, folks. And every time we tried to approach this subject, the police department, health department, the mayor's office, nobody wanted to talk about it. Everyone said that we were just trying to cause panic in our city, that there was no transmission 